So I am a father of, Dearborn public school, of a Dearborn Public School student and a product of Dearborn Public Schools. The majority of parents are not here to attack anyone. We are not here to attack the board. We are not here to attack the LGBT community. And we are not here especially to attack our teachers. We cannot allow extremes on both sides to hijack the narrative. We are here to exercise our parental rights and to hold the board accountable to the highest degree. To the board, to the board, we entrust you with our children's safety along with their education. The blatantly inappropriate content in question has no place in our public schools. We have, we have chosen you as our board to protect our children from age inappropriate content. And all the parents here, yes, there is also threat, a threat to our children from the internet and social media apps such as TikTok, where far worse content exists. However, internet use at home does not absolve the board from being held accountable by parents. <clears throat> we are justified in voicing our concern about normalizing sexually inappropriate content in public schools. To the LGBT community, the majority of parents are not here to attack your right to exist in a free society. but parents also have rights to protect their children. Criticism of age inappropriate content is not criticism of the LGBT community. <laughs> However, advocating for such materials to be placed in schools is a violation of parents' rights. <laughs> Finally, you as the board have a duty to repair the trust that has been ruptured between parents and the public school system. And, and for the person that said that uh, in the back, I'll repeat what he said. American values and the American way is not child pornography.